Number 21, a chord is used to vertically lower an initially stationary block of mass M at a constant downward acceleration of G over 4. When a block has fallen a distance D, find the work done by the chord's force on the block, the work done by the gravitational force on the block, the kinetic energy of the block, and in letter D, the speed of the block. So let's suppose this is our block, and we have a chord here. This is our chord. So you can notice that the chord is holding the block. The chord is taking away energy from the block because the acceleration is G over 4. If we cut the, the chord over here, then the acceleration would be just G. So the acceleration is less than G. So the chord is taking away energy from the block. So we can expect the work done by the chord to be negative, right? So if you get a positive answer, you know that your answer is not correct. So let's write down the forces that are acting on the block. So we have FG, the force from gravity. And let's call FC, the force from the chord. And let's suppose that downwards is our positive direction, right? You could choose upwards to be positive. It won't change, won't change the final answer. Okay, so let's apply Newton's second law, which is the sum of the forces equal to mass times the acceleration. So since downwards is positive, we're going to have Fg minus Fc, which is equal to mass times the acceleration, which is G over 4. We can calculate the gravitational force Gravitational force is just mass times gravity. So if you want to find Fc, let's just isolate it. So Fc is equal to mg minus mg over 4. And this is equal to 3 quarters of mg. Okay, so we have the force from the chord but we don't have the work done by the chord's force okay so the work can be calculated by doing f dot product the distance that that, that is that the distance that the object goes uh, the dot product with the force so let's just use this equation in this with the, the the force from the chord and let's remember that d is this distance here distance d over there okay so the work from the chord first notice that the that fc points upwards and the movement points downwards so this dot product over here uh, it's negative so we have minus fc times d because they point in different directions. Fc points upwards and the movement points downwards. So this is equal to minus 3 quarters mg times d. And that's the final answer because we don't have the, the, the numbers, we just have the letters. So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, we are going to do the same thing, but now it's the work from gravitational force and the gravitational force points in the same direction as the movement so now it's positive so it is fg times d and this is equal to mgd okay so that's the answer of letter b for letter c we want the kinetic energy uh, of the block so the kinetic energy of the block is equal to the net for work that we have so let's just remember that the work is equal to the change in the kinetic energy so since the block was initially stationary the initial kinetic energy was zero so this is the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy and this is zero so the kinetic energy that we are just going to call it k is equal to the nef of the work done. So we just have to sum the works over there. So the kinetic energy 
is equal to the work done by the cord plus the work done by the gravitational force and this would be equal to minus three quarters m g d plus m g d and this is equal to sorry this is equal to one quarter of m g d and that's the answer of letter c for letter d we want to know the speed of the block and let's remember that the kinetic energy is equal to mass v squared over 2 so v is equal to 2 times k over m and the square root of everything right and so we just have to replace k by this value over here so we have the square root of 2 times 1 over 4 mgd over m and this gives us let's take this out and this is the square root of gd over 2 and that's the answer of letter d